Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Sorry it's so bright. I have sit here for 20 minutes and tried to figure it out. 37 minutes. No, I'm just kidding. It hasn't been that long. I was actually using this piece of foam board. Do you see what it does when you reflect? It reflects light. So if you've ever been professionally or semi-professionally photographed, they'll have a, a, a light ring or they actually will have like these umbrella looking things with silver linings. Yeah, this is the same for a dollar. Look how, look how bright it's just making me. Now imagine, well, imagine my light, my camera was, hold on. I'm not gonna move the foam board. I'm gonna move the camera so that you don't see this foam board. Can you see the difference? Watch, foam board down, foam board up, foam board down, foam board up. Okay. But, um, so I got a piece of foam board for a DIY that, just like my luck I have 75% of the items that I need for this DIY but we'll make it work we always do don't we <sighs> today was great day terrible day great day terrible day, great day, terrible day. <laughs> I feel like it's just gone up and down and up and down and up and down all day but I choose joy so it's a good day no matter what any day above ground is a good day for me right all right we went to the Dollar Tree. Now, this video will be going up on December 2nd. This is my December 2nd vlog, miss, vlog. Um, <laughs> it is still currently December 1st, <laughs> but I ended the vlog early um, for today so that you could I could upload it. But just wanted to let you guys, um, I told you I was gonna haul some stuff, so I went to the Dollar Tree, I received a lovely gift and was able to go to the Dollar Tree and also buy myself some things from Walmart, which was wonderful. Uh, some more nightgowns and some other stuff. So, got something from mom, got something for Jim, and I got me nightgowns. But I went to the Dollar Tree, got some Christmas presents, got some DIY stuff. <sighs> I have a little plaque in my office that says, Creative Minds are Seldom Tidy. And boy, is that true. Um, the the fact that I'm trying to spin the DIYs out for you, my office is getting overwhelming. So I'm almost feeling like I did have 25 DIYs planned for 25 days of Christmas, but I don't know. I think one day I'm going to have to not do a video and <laughs> go ahead and organize my office. But in the meantime, went to the Dollar Tree, um, went a dollar forty four with the tax over my budget. I really thought I counted... 37 items so that it wouldn't be over $40, but apparently I can't count. No, I don't know. I have to actually look at my receipt and make sure that she didn't accidentally ring twice something or that I accidentally didn't get the wrong number of items. So um, let's go ahead and get into the hole. Obviously, I got a piece of foam board. When I took a photography class, they, I think they called it a beauty screen. You can use it for anything, you know. But it really does make a huge difference, you know. Um, not so much on your iPhone, which is what I'm filming on. But when you use, the like, a camera. Because, you know, you can shoot the lens past where the light comes. Blah, 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 whatever. They had candy cane wreaths, and I have one, and I needed, I wanted to get one more. If you've been around for a while, I made candy canes out of, um, out of pool noodles and plastic stick in the ground candy canes my original intention was to put the pool noodle in here which by the way it fits perfectly because one of the big complaints about these um christmas candy cane wreath forms is they only go in one direction so if you wanted to crisscross them or um, put them on your like both sides of your door or something they would be going in different directions but if you lay a pool noodle in here and tie some pipe cleaners around it to secure the pool noodle, you can actually flip them in other direction, in two different directions. And that was sort of the intention, um, but I couldn't find them, so I went ahead and I got the candy canes, the other candy canes instead, and did it the other way, which works great too. I was so excited to find some green Excelsior. I, I hadn't find Excel, I haven't found Excelsior in my Dollar Trees that I've been in probably for like three years. And wouldn't you know, I found some that it just said as the end of the autumn season that was like hay colored, but I was so excited to find green Excelsior. And it's really funny, um, I kind of like want to put it in my manger. I don't know why. 
I don't know why. Don't ask me. Don't. I had two, I have two subscribers who sent me DIYs that they wanted me to share with you. Um, one of them is going to use these cones. Um, she said she searched the whole World Wide Web and couldn't find anybody else making trees out of these cones. And of course, you know, you get two for a dollar. Um, and we're going to use some garland and stuff like that. So go ahead if you want to do that go ahead and grab these it came out really cute and I thought that would be really cute like symmetrical on the centerpiece um also for the DIY that I have 75% of the stuff for it's actually more like 90% like I I there are these little tiny silver hooks um the, like the stick on kind and I needed 24 of them and I only have 12 of them well I needed two packs and there's only I only have one pack so of course I went looking everywhere and I can't find them but we Picked up, we didn't pick up stickers, uh, stencils. I picked up stencils. You weren't even there. I don't even want you to come on. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm punch drunk. We, I picked up, I almost did it again, number stick stencils. And again, um, you, I get a lot of lovely compliments on my handwriting. But of course, that's just again with practice. But I wanted to show you guys how to uh, achieve some of the things without that. So we picked up these two stencil packs. This one is sort of the traditional mailbox letter. I think I would call it Times New Roman. And then this one is really cute. It's almost like a handwrited. A handwrited? Okay. And this one looks like this. Now this one's by Jot. The other two are by Craft, Craft something. This little logo there. Okay, so I got three of those. I picked these up. And believe it or not, this is what we made our... Um, during our farmhouse series, we cut one of these apart to make hooks on a mate to hold mason jars. But I actually got them for my uh, kitchen. I have these two little white scrolly shelves on there, and I have always had a uh, silver or gold with the teacups. I change it out for the seasons, but when it's a regular non-seasonal thing, I have like collected teacups on there with little saucers, and I've always had them with the silver hangers. But you know what? I realized. The shelves are white, but the furniture's black. So when I found these, after I cut my one up that day, I was like, I when I have an extra $2, I'm going to pick these up. So I picked up two of those, one for each side of the china closet. The china cabinet. That china cabinet I got at um, throughthecountrydoor.com. If anybody's ever interested, I think they still have it available. We bought it when we moved into the house. Um... I had one that was my parents um, that I was going to refurbish that my parents had bought when they first bought the house in New York and it, it got ruined in the flood. I was so sad about that because I had such great plans for it. It needed to have the legs reshored up and I was going to put a cute little beadboard on the back, make it a little countrified and stuff. Um, but so, so it is. I hold this phone. If you've been around since the snowballs, which was just last week. Um, I made the snow fake deca snow paint, which was with, um, I used, forgive me, I used baking soda, acrylic craft paint, um, water and glitter and styrofoam beads. Now the problem was the styrofoam beads at the Dollar Tree were only, were too big really for the application that I was using it for the snowballs. And really um, didn't get that effect that you get from the uh, snow techs or the deck of snow. Like they're pretty similar. Oh, and glue. I forgot about the glue. Did I say glue? I might have said glue. I don't know. Anyhow. I found a very, very fine snow. So, ooh, that's really blown out. So this is, hold on, let me see if I can't show you. Okay, yeah, now you can see it. This is such the finest beads of snow that I feel like um, I, I this, this is perfect for that. I almost want to go like make a new batch. Um, maybe you can see there how tiny they are against the, yeah, I'll put them against my face. You see how tiny they are against my face? Um, and this was, this would have been the perfect size. It will be the perfect size again. But we can use the snow for other applications as well. Um, I got these because I really thought I had them. And we got those new chairs for the living room. And Jim plays games on one. And he's been sliding around. He hasn't been scratching the floor. But it has like 
First of all, it makes a lot of noise. Second of all, it's like making scuff marks. It's like I have to keep polishing the floor and I don't want to do that. So I got those. Hopefully that'll work. This was a cute picture frame. I picked it up because first of all, it's my style. Second of all, I'm sure I'll have a picture to put in it. Um, it is so adorable. It's tiny. I think it's supposed to hold like a wallet. Actually, probably three by five, um, but cut down into an oval. And they had it in silver and gold, but of course I got silver. Silver, because that's my thing. They had the Yes To masks, which um, this is Yes To Cucumbers. Um, if you guys watch Catherine at Doing On A Dime, she talks about that these are like $3 at Walmart. Um, and I just figured for stocking stuffers, I picked them up. So I got two of those. I found a burlap and polka dot ribbon. When I did the project with the um, the rooster country wreath, I used the rest of my polka dotty ribbon, or just about the rest of it. So I wanted to get some more. I was excited to see these games. They're like little trivia games, I believe. This is We Love the 90s, and this is We Love Movies. And you know, hopefully, well not hopefully, if you guys have been around for a while, you know I love trivia. I play HQ trivia every time it's on. I don't play the sports so much because, uh, you know, if it's not about the Redskins or the Mets, so the Islanders, I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> so um, I got these. They're cute. They're little cards in there, and they're just like trivia questions. But for a dollar, again, that'll fit in someone's stocking. That will fit. I got these for Aunt Sue. She was wanting them for Christmas when Aunt Sue is so generous. Um, if you've ever seen my uh, Peace on Earth pillow that I have in my living room. It stays out all year, even though it's supposed to be a Christmas wreath. Last year at Christmas time, she said, what do you want for Christmas? I said, world peace. So she found that pillow for me and I just thought that was amazing. Um, but all she ever asks for is magnetic clips. So I found some. <laughs> um, she does uh, you clips everything with them, but she um, you know uses them for notes and stuff. So I picked her up a blue pack and a red pack. Actually, they're kind of like hot pink. So blue is her favorite color, pink is her second. Or I'm going to make it a second, whether it's a second or not. Um, I was, I'm was i going to open this with you guys because I have no idea what it is. So, my Dollar Tree, somebody had just organized all of the ribbon when I went there. But all of the ribbon, all of the ribbon, sequence ribbon, all of the ribbon, all of it, even this, was in a box marked sheer ribbon. So, or satin ribbon, I'm sorry, they had both. Satin ribbon and sheer ribbon. So none of the grow green boxes were there. None of the scalloped boxes were there. They only said sheer or um, or satin. And I found this and it just says ribbon. And it looks black to me. And it's definitely the regular craft line, um, the floral gardens line, which is like their regular craft stuff. I'm just trying to find that little plastic opening. And it feels like it's textured or something. It could be sequins. It could be black on black sequins. It just really wasn't shining in the store. And I was trying to feel it. And I couldn't feel what it was feeling like either. I couldn't tell what it felt like. Put it that way. Oh, now that I have it open, it is. It's a string of black sequins. And I just thought that was so neat. I never saw black. First of all, whenever there's black ribbon, I like to buy it. I have, you know, farmhouse, but mostly it's French country in my home. And there's a lot of black in there. But I thought that was so neat. That'd be cute on one of those lampshades we made. We recovered. Um, just a little black sequence on a ribbon. And it's nine feet. Okay. Oh. Mama. How are we doing for time? Because we got a lot of stuff. Okay. I saw these online. No joke. I was at the DollarTree.com looking for something for someone. I, I often get requests from subscribers for SKU numbers or have they seen this that someone else has hauled and I haven't so I'll go on the website and I'll look. And while I was on the website searching for people for something, I saw these and I never saw them in my store before. And you guys know we did a lot of tree DIYs. Oh look, I lost my lighting. We did a lot of tree DIYs, and I just thought, oh my gosh, where did I not see these? So, they are, I, I got two, so I don't have to show you both of them. They are this um, garland, this cute little red garland on the bottom, but they're this cagey, plastic cagey, wiry stuff, and I'll show you the cage on the back. Well, you can't really see it. 
on my camera, but you see it's got like green and I just was like, yes, actually it's really funny because the night manager, she was like, you're going to make those better, aren't you? And I was like, I'm going to try. I am going to try. So I got two of those. I found the, the wreath worms, which they've been out for a bit. Um, they didn't have the green foam ones, but I picked up two more of these because I could use them. I got mom two small cookie cans that she requested. These are actually the largest round ones that they sell at the Dollar Tree because they do have a smaller one at the Dollar Tree. Um, but she wanted these as opposed to the big cookie cans that she gives out, you know, she sends away, right? And, oh boy. So I'm going to do a haul plus product review. And the reason I'm doing that is these. So I, here, let me get the one that I'm actually talking about. And I bought two of them so I could show you. There is this chestnut and clove. Is that it? Is that the chestnut and clove? Yes. The chestnut clove candle um, in the mason jar. And this one is sort of like a very, very pale ivory, almost white. And I cannot even begin to say enough about this. Now, I'm not sure what it is because it says chestnut and clove, but it so reminds me of Christmas trees. It's bizarre. I have had this on my candle warmer for three days because I've had company. It still has uh, constantly for three days. So literally 75 hours or something at this point. It still has an amazing throw. It This particular, I'm going to insert a video here because this particular candle burns almost completely clear wax. It's like a little tinge of yellow. Um, I, I swear I wish it had smell of vision It really do. Now we've heard, I've told you guys before about reviews about candles at the Dollar Tree. Um, a lot of people don't think that throws are really great, but I have told you guys time and time again, I don't have any other scents in my house except smoke and bodily functions. <laughs> but I'm saying like, there's no competing scents in my house. We don't use, um, we don't wear perfume. They're unscented deodorant, unscented shampoo, unscented conditioner kind of thing. Um, that's what kind of house we live in. So when you burn something like this, you notice it. Um, and I love these. Every time I walk into my bathroom for the last three days, I'm like, <sighs> it kind of, it's so weird. It reminds me of Christmas trees and like men's cologne, but it's not. It's just, I have my, I have my nose so far in this candle. So I got two more because I just have to. I just have to. And you guys know I repurpose these jars. I have them everywhere in my house doing something. But with that same collection, um, I found, it's by Lucid, I think they're by Luminescence. Yeah, they are. I found um, two other ones. Let me grab my glasses real quick because the writing is kind of little. And I realized that I knew what the writing on that one was because I went looking for it. Um, this one is Glistening Spruce. And this one is like a clean Christmas tree. It's not as strong Christmassy to me as that one, but it's this pretty green and I thought that would be really nice when uh, on Christmas Eve when company comes and um, and then this one Holly holiday holly berry I love this one. Oh, That to me That smells like Christmas now. Here's the thing what smells like Christmas to me may not smell like Christmas to you We were growing up. We always had a live tree. We'll give you that but when I would buy stuff like scented candles or stuff along that line, and when I pack it away in my tote, every year when I open my, my, my decorations, everything smells like whatever that candle was. And sometimes it's a combination of candles and a combination of smells. This smells like Christmas to me. Okay, so what smells like Christmas to you? I don't know. Maybe your mom made gingerbread every year, and when you smell gingerbread, it reminds me of Christmas. But you guys know that all factory senses are the most, uh, I don't know, they're the most effective memory enhancer. I don't know. What am I saying? Hello? <laughs> the strongest memory. <laughs> I love when I sound so intelligent because I know this, and this this is a fact. <laughs> The olfactory sense. 
your sense of smell is the strongest memory recaller in the world. Does that make sense? No. Out of the rest of them. So seeing stuff, hearing stuff, tasting stuff, it does bring back memories, but smelling stuff really, really triggers the memories. Okay. Forgive me. Um, I finally found a sleigh. Um, we are going to DIY this, so if you're interested in doing that with me, um, there have been many DIYs on this sleigh out there in the World Wide Web of the inter interwebs, as my sister Alicia calls it, um, but I'm going to do just my own little version, um, and this one I picked up has Santa on it. Santa! Santa has a foil hat with little glittery snowflakes all over, and Rudolph has a little foil nose in the trees. Um, have a little bit of, nope, the trees don't have glitter. That's more snowflakes. Oh, his boot, that's what it was. I knew there was, I knew there was other things. His boots have little foil buckles on there, okay? And it says Merry Christmas at the top, and that is in glitter. And it has a jute hanger, okay? Okay, okay, okay. I noticed when I was doing a voiceover yesterday that, um, when I don't feel good or when I'm tired, um, and I'm doing a voiceover, I say um a lot. Um, 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 um. So I ask for forgiveness always. Um, I picked up mom a roll of wax paper. She needs this for her cookies. She doesn't really bake on them. What she does is she puts the cooling rack over them to catch the crumbs. Um, so she basically lines the counter with wax paper, puts all the cooling racks over them, and then this way it helps with the cleanup, okay? So I got her 65 feet of wax paper. Um, I believe this is microwavable, hey. I was gonna tell you who makes it, but it doesn't say who makes it. So there you go, there's that. You guys know about the little pokey in the ends, so you do this when you get a new roll of paper and it keeps it from coming out of the box every time you pull on it. Do you guys know about that? Is that like a life hack you didn't know about? And this particular one too has the little tabs. Let's see, can you see the tabs right there? I'm not gonna open it because we have one open. But once you open it, you pop these little tabs so you can tuck the cover in and um, anytime you're storing stuff in a drawer. So we, we have all of our papers in a drawer. Not all of them, just the ones we use every day. I was so excited to see this. It was by the hair section. Like, I don't know why. It's just a scarf. It's by Remington. It has, like, all of the... So I guess because you can put it in your hair. But it's like you can do other things with it. Um, and it's so pretty. They had a pretty blue. Um, they had a pretty blue, pink. Oh, one with patterns on it. They had... Sure. And I just did that. So... Did you guys catch that? I need a nap. I just need a nap. That's all. Um, trying to take it off there. It came with a pretty hanger. Is what I was oh, it's a bracelet. It doubles as a bracelet. <laughs> and it's really pretty and long. And it's very, very um, rayon with little fringes on the end. I really like it. It's got a bit of a shimmer. This was the last white one. So I picked up, um, I picked up white. There we go. Oh my gosh, I, I just, it's 1979. <laughs> I just had a moment. I just had a moment. Um, so I got that on a little bracelet. I thought that was cute. Um, oh boy, Alberto. I found the um, red truck gift bags. They say Merry Christmas and be merry on the truck. Yeah, let me just show you one. They're clear. Um, I've seen people do DIYs with these. Um, actually, I saw this really lovely DIY. Somebody took that metal. Um, I used it to do the country magnetic board. Um, but it was basically, it says like the mermaid on the back. Um, or it's other things, but it's basically a piece of galvanized metal. And she took that and a plunger handle and this and made like one of those like cute little Christmas snow shovels. It was so cute. 
So cute. I needed more dishcloths because the ones that I got are falling apart. But let me tell you something. I use, I use a dishcloth every day. I drape it over the middle section of my sink. And it's what I use to dry my sink. Look, I'm not obsessive compulsive. But if you dry your sink, you won't have to wash your sink as much. Because it won't have spots. You'll have to wash it and disinfect it when you have like cooties or whatever. But to wipe it down while it's wet, you don't have to worry about all the spots and stuff. So anyway, I've used them every day for four years, I guess. And um, they, they need to be replaced. But I got these ones because it's the roosters. There's new rooster patterns. And don't worry, I didn't buy towels or anything. I actually downsized my towels last night. Because I had some that were like, gotta go. It says Farm Fresh. Is that not the cutest thing? I almost want to like, ooh, what can I DIY with this cute little Farm Fresh dish towel? I know. I probably never give up roosters. They're my thing. And I think this is finally. I think this is the last thing. Let me just double check. Oh, what's in here? Nope. I picked up another. This is Matte Mod Podge, the yellow one. The one I had was satin finish. The one that I did, um, the cinnamon ornaments in. Basically, the no-cook ornaments, the one that I have at home, it was the satin finish. And that's why it was looking like that. So I picked up a matte finish that they had from today. And I was like, okay, might as well just pick it up. It's not the best bargain, but it's nice to have in a pinch, you know. And the last thing that I got. Yep, the last thing that I got. They had some new Bolero products. Um, I actually think I hauled some last time, but um, they had... The vanilla cream and co oh, coconut cream and vanilla facial wipes. Now, you guys know Jim has sensitive skin issues. He's got, um, he has to put medicine on. Um, and he sh shouldn't wash his face every time he needs to put on medicine. Because it's bad for his skin with the dryings and the soaps. However, it's not good to put the medicine on on top of old medicine. So what he does is washes his face in the morning, applies his medicine, and then before bed, he takes a Bolero wipe to wash his face. Um, it's just a little bit more forgiving. It's got a little bit, a little bit of stuff in it. And then he puts his medicine on, and that really has been working for him. So I know he doesn't like to eat coconut, but I'm sure he doesn't mind smelling it. So I got two. Um, each one has 30 wipes in them. That's it. Oh, it's the longest haul ever. It's like the longest I'm never getting. This is 35 minutes. I don't know what I'm going to do. <sighs> Forgive me. Anyhow. <laughs> I'm tired. I need to take a nap before we go grocery shopping. We, if you watched Vlogmas day one, we said we were going to go sh grocery shopping at 2 o'clock in the morning. It is currently not 2 o'clock in the morning, and I am tired. I think it's probably close to 10 o'clock, and I have to take a nap before we go, because I'll never make it. So, hopefully you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to share with friends and family. Anybody you know might be interested in seeing all that we got at the Dollar Tree today. And if you haven't yet, click subscribe. And when you do, a little bell will pop up. When you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. And... If you don't follow me on Instagram, you'll know that this video is going to be going up on our two-year anniversary of the channel. Thank you all so much for all your lovely love and support. I cannot tell you. I feel like it was just yesterday that we started. People ask me all the time. They watch old videos and they're like, oh, I couldn't hear you. Or, oh, the, the camera. And I was like, I didn't know what I was doing. Just from watching TV and watching YouTubers, I don't, you know, I didn't know anything else. Sometimes I would film a whole video and, like, I think the burlap pumpkin last year. I filmed the whole video and I didn't even realize the thing was on, like, uh, stop motion. Like, time lapse. And I was like, okay, well, there goes that. But I, hopefully I've improved. <laughs> Obviously not the lighting in this room. But that's why I wanted to come to my bedroom and haul this video, uh, do this haul for you. Because this is where it all began. Two years ago, today. Um, yeah, and I am so grateful, like I said, to each and every one of you for all that you've done for us, for me and Jim and all the love and support and mom that you give us each and every day, as well as Aunt Sue, Sharon, Lisa, everybody you see, you just throw love to. So, um, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I wanted to say a special hello to 
Sophie and T and Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Um, you are the future of the crafters and the next generation of YouTubers. So um, keep going. Um, I also want to say hi to Jackson and Bentley and Luna. Hi, Luna. I miss you. Mwah. Um, and as always, you take care. God bless. We'll see you next time.